It's spoilers, by the way, if you want to watch this movie. Uh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Off the Shelf. I'm your host, Ryan Tim HD, and today we watched. Red Spell Spells Red, released by Error 4444. This was a special limited release, and if you want to get your hands on it, it is, at the time of recording this video at least, still available. I would highly recommend finding out, uh, seeking out a copy of this film. It is uh, very crazy and very weird. Uh, if you do like weird uh, Asian cinema, you will probably love this movie. But, with that out of the way, this film was released in 1983 in Hong Kong, and it was directed by Titus Ho. Uh, I can't say I've heard of his heard of his name before, but I think he did a pretty good job at directing. So I just felt like naming him. Uh, but yeah, this movie was really fucking crazy. And honestly, this movie is kind. It's like a it's a black magic film, right? You gotta love a black magic film, right? And it's basically about this ghost or like this evil wizard witch guy he's like conjuring evil spirits and doing evil shit and then these people these uh these righteous uh were they like do-gooders like whatever they were good guys and they they trapped them in this uh coffin they trapped them in this iron coffin and like a hundred or so years later these stupid documentary crew went in and freed him freed his spirit and then what happened is he basically like terrorizes the like natives around there right and then the whole movie is kind of like the group slowly all dying and getting killed by uh the evil spirit and like curses and like you know black magic and that's like the whole thing and then at the end of the movie they get some tibetan monks and they just because also there's a golden buddha statue that if he you know goes with it if he goes with it, like, if he connects with it, he gets, like, stronger, and he's, like, unstoppable, right? If he gets connected with the statue, and then they, and then they immediately destroy the statue and stop him in, like, ten seconds. But, <laughs> if they say he's strong, they say he's strong. <laughs> but, yeah, like, every side character dies in this movie. The only character that doesn't die is the Tibetan monk at the end of the movie and the main character. They're the only characters that don't die. Um, it's spoilers, by the way, if you want to watch this movie. Uh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. But are you really watching this movie for the story? You know, that's the question. Or are you just watching it for all the crazy random shit? Because I feel like that's why most people watch black magic movies. Like, who really cares about the story of this movie? Yeah, you're just watching it because it's super, like, z fucking bonkers and crazy. You know, you're not watching it because, oh, this is a really engaging story. Nah. Story's secondary, you know, but I do think that uh, This movie's just really great the whole way through and I thought it was like I looked it up on On Google and they said it's a sus it's a like Suspenseful horror it's like suspenseful horror or whatever and it's like this movie is not suspenseful <laughs> I don't know what they're talking about the movie's pretty funny honestly <laughs> The movie has a lot of, like, funny, like, random, like, not random, but, like, has a lot of funny and weird jokes, and I laughed at a lot of them. I don't know. But, yeah, this movie is not very suspenseful. I do think it is a horror film. I think it's more like B-film. It's a B-film. It's a B-movie. 
you know, and I love B-movies. So, also, if, to be advised, if you wanted to see this movie, there is a bit of, like, animal cruelty in it. They do kill quite a couple animals, like, real animals in this movie. They kill quite a couple pigs, and right in front of the camera pretty gruesomely. They do have a guy eat a chicken while it's still alive. Uh, they kill a lot of scorpions in this movie, too, if... You know, if you really don't want to... there, But there is an animal cruelty-free version uh, of the movie. Because, I I mean, I don't mind it. I don't think it's... I mean, it's not great, but I don't mind it. It doesn't really affect me that much. Uh, but I do think it's a little unnecessary. You know, I don't know if they really needed to put that in the movie, but it's their movie. <laughs> They can do what they want with it. But, um, yeah, I also thought that the, the black magic itself in the movie was great. I thought uh, all this practical... It was all practical um, since it was released in 83. Uh, it was all practical, and I think all the practical effects were really good. Uh, I really liked the... Um, so the first, like, kill of the movie, technically, like, the first kill of the group, um, this was this, this, like, fat guy, and he was the first one to be targeted by the, um, by the, by the spirit, and he was, like, being dragged through a field by the spirit, and it was, like, this movie isn't like Evil Dead, but it was so Evil Dead, like, the shot with, like, him being dragged through the forest was totally really Evil Dead-esque, and there was, like, another shot in that movie that reminded, of this movie that reminded me of Evil Dead, I don't know, this movie isn't like Evil Dead at all, but it just gave me that vibe, you know, I don't know why, it just did, but, yeah, he's getting dragged, and then he gets dragged into the water, and he's like a motorboat. It's just, and he's like running, the spirit's like running him through the rocks, and he's going, and then he, then there's this quick shot that you can, you can miss it, you can blink and miss it. He gets launched in the air into a tree, and it's like, he gets just, and it's like super quick and it looked genuinely dangerous like you know how in most movies like it's a slow rise to the thing no they like yanked him up there and it was it looked genuinely dangerous like he could have gotten hurt um but i feel like a lot of people could have gotten hurt during the production of this film it seems like it was fairly low budget but yeah i feel like uh he genuinely could have gotten hurt with that but uh yeah i think the special effects are really well done i really did like the whole I just like black magic films in general. You know, I think the I think the reason I like black magic films is they're so weird. Because you can't have a black magic film in it and not be weird. You know? So, guys, I really hope... Uh, I really uh, hope you guys uh, go and support Air Force 4044. I uh, hope you go buy some of their movies. Uh, support them as best you can. Because uh, they got some new releases coming out. They've said that... They said that uh, they got some new ones coming out. I don't know how soon, but they are coming out. Um, I really, they make really high quality scans. If you're a fan of like Asian cinema, incredibly recommend, like highly recommend it. Uh, you will not regret it. Um, buy their shit. S but I do think that I've said all that I need to say for this movie. Um, I would recommend it to fans of horror films. I would recommend this to fans of, you know, like weird, like zany, crazy movies, kind of like this one. Um, but I will say, obviously, the animal cruelty part, I don't think, uh, if you're a little, like, you know, can't really watch that stuff, I would not recommend watching this movie. Or you could always watch the animal cruelty free version. You could always watch that version. Uh, but, uh, yeah. I think I'd rate this film a 8 out of 10. I'd rate this an 8 out of 10. I really liked it. I enjoyed it all the way through. I don't think there was one scene that I didn't like, except for one that didn't really seem like it needed to be there, except for one purpose. And I'm not going to say it, because YouTube doesn't like it. But if you've seen the movie, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, that's all I'm going to say. But, uh, yeah. So, uh, I think I've said my piece. I hope you guys... Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you like it. Subscribe, turn those notifications on. Share with your friends. Comment down below on how much you liked it. I've been running Time HD. Signing off. 
Yo guys, uh, no, yo guys. 